Welcome to the Skein Witch YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Alicia, or Allie for short. If you like talking yarn, or crochet, or knitting, or anything fiber related, definitely subscribe to my channel and follow me, my pretty. <laughs> That boy Reek, he's very tired. Um, yeah, I was doing some knitting. I have been working on my vanilla socks on Magic Loop. This is my first sock ever, and I'm still working on it. I'm on that really boring point where I just have to do stockinette stitch for like another two inches, I think, and then I'm almost done. So then I'll have to learn to do the toe and yeah. Hey everyone, how are we all doing? Happy, happy new year. I haven't talked to you guys since last year. Um, I hope you guys all had a wonderful holiday and an amazing new year. Today I'm gonna be trying out this different type of video, this kind of knit with me vibe. Um, I am still a little bit under the weather. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know I got COVID last week and it really sucked. Thankfully, I'm doing better and my family members who got it are also feeling a lot better. And thankfully, it was nothing um, too crazy for us. My boyfriend's entire family pretty much got it. Um, my family got it, my boyfriend's brother's girlfriend's family got it, pretty much everybody around us had it, um, so it was pretty scary there for a moment. I did have a lot of time to work on my knitting, so that was fun. Majority of my time went into making a yoke for a sweater. Um, I haven't talked about that sweater in a podcast yet, but on the next one I will talk more details about it. But I was working on the yoke and then I realized that I didn't like the way that the yoke was coming out, so I decided to frog it and start all over. So that took up a lot of my time. And then I did the yoke again in about two days and I was really proud of myself, but then I realized I did not have the right cable for the next part of the yoke. So I did order that new cable and I am waiting to get that in the mail. So that has now pushed me to finish my sock. I have been working on this sock for a while now. I don't know, I just keep frogging it and restarting it. And I did that about eight times until I finally got it, I guess. Like it just clicked one day. So now that I'm like at the end of the sock, I am so excited that I actually pushed through and finished it. If you're wondering what um, yarn I'm using, this is from Blue Barn Fiber, and this is their colorway Crazy Alien Plant Lady, I believe it's called. I'll have it linked down below. I absolutely loved the way that this colorway worked up. It's just, I don't know, it's something about purples and blues and greens, like that's, that's my vibe, like that's what I live off of. I love the mixture of those colors together, so this yarn is just stunning. I absolutely love it. break so this is David's tea vanilla cappuccino flavor if you haven't tried them you should definitely test them out I got a 36 pack I believe of different um, assortments of their tea and I have been absolutely obsessed I think every single one of them I have liked so far and I'm not a big tea person but 
during the winter, I don't know what it is, I just, I like the way that tea makes me, like, warm, you know? Anyways, I have no complaints. I have loved every single tea of theirs that I've tried. Definitely let me know down below what your favorite winter drink is. Let me know if you have a specific coffee, tea, alcoholic beverage, anything. Let me know down below. I have to say, I think non-alcoholic wise, my favorite winter drink is a caramel hot chocolate. Alcohol wise, I think I really like Moscow Mules. Um, I don't know, I guess some people think that that's like a, a summer drink, which I agree, but I don't at the same time. Um, if you don't know what a Moscow Mule is, it's like vodka, ginger beer, and like, I think like lime juice. In the summer, I'm usually a margarita drinker. I love any kind of margarita. But, yeah. I don't know, like, why I don't associate a Moscow Mule with the summer. I, like, that's my boyfriend's brother's girlfriend's favorite drink. And she drinks that all summer, and I drink a margarita all summer. But I had a Moscow Mule for, I believe, Thanksgiving and I was like all right I can get behind this I can drink this as a holiday drink absolutely so happy that the toe decreases didn't give me any issue. I seem to be like flying through this part. Um, I don't know what it is. I really actually enjoyed doing the toe. So I don't record myself doing the final Kitchener stitch, I think it's pronounced. Um, I couldn't figure out how to do it, so I um, had to watch the video tutorial on it. So that was the cool part of having both the written pattern and the video that I could like kind of go back and forth and it also helped me learn how to read patterns so that's really cool um that's pretty much how I learned how to crochet like I, I would get the pattern and watch the video um so that definitely helped me out now here in knitting as well so I highly recommend uh having both because it does help out a lot but like I said I didn't record um that part the Kitchener stitch because I did have to watch the video while I was doing it. Um, but yeah, we're finally at the end of this sock and I am so, so excited. I've already casted on the second sock, so I just finished the, or I'm almost finished with the, um, with the top of the sock. I'm trying to figure out the cuff. There you go. Couldn't think of it. Um, so yeah, in a few seconds, you'll see my happy feet with my lovely sock on, and I am so, so excited. I had to modify it a little bit because I do have small feet, but overall, it is so pretty. Yay! If you liked this style of video, please definitely let me know by giving this video a like. I am willing to do this kind of video again. I thought it was really fun, um, so please let me know if you like it. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!